This is Robotics Project 6. Uh, Neil is our demonstrator and our tester. Bentley on the camera is our script writer and video recorder. And I'm Mike, I'm the researcher and the speaker. Uh, today we're going to be doing a uh, rectangle with curved ends. Uh, we're going to use circular motion to uh, accomplish the curves. And all the straight lines are going to be linear motions. And Neil, whenever you're ready. We are going to first start by creating the program. We're going to go to select, create, F2. We start with the word program. Six. <laughs> program six. Enter. Enter. Now we're going to, this is our start screen. So first we're going to start with our beginning point. Uh, F1, because we're clear of the workpiece. Enter. Now we're going to move into the paper. Now our first contact point is going to be away from our arc, because as the robot is lowering, uh, it may not be able to uh, accomplish the tangents of the turn on the first turn. So our first Come point. Take the paper. F1. Enter. Go to the next point. Point enter. Now that's the first point of our arc. Our next point is going to be a uh, circular point. Another point, enter, we'll go up and change that to a circular move, choice, soft key F4, enter. Now when that makes it blank, that means that that point that it just selected is an invisible point. So basically it's going to go from the point prior to the point after, and it's still going to keep that other point in the middle in memory so it knows where to make the arc. Right now I'm finding the last point of our arc. Now we'll hit shift, touch up. That'll be the last point of our arc. So now we can clear the workpiece and move over linear to our start of our next arc. Turn up our feed rate. Now this will be our point for the second arc. And that was linear from that last point to this point. Once again, we're going to put the point as a, in as a linear point, and then we're going to change it to a circular point. Yeah, okay. So we'll, we'll change that linear to a circular choice. Enter. So now we can scroll down and then we can hit our shift touch up because I'm at that last point. Shift C. Now we'll clear that. Now we'll go back to the robot and we will be going for our next linear point to the next curve. So we'll create this point. This will be the start of our arc. Enter. And our last arc, we'll show you uh, the different move of the termination type. You're going to try it? You're the man. <laughs> going to do a continuous on that one? There he is. Should be a point. And now we're going to we'll change that one over to a circular move again. Choice. Look at the thing, he's going to change it into a continuous move. Circular, enter. C. 
TNT, yep. enter 100. All right, so basically what we're doing is we're turning this into a continuous move. That way there's no points in between. It'll actually just sweep through the turn and move on. Hit shift touch up, that'll be the last move on that arc. Once again, we're changing the linear move we're into this one as a continuous. So the bottom two are going to be standard circular motions, and the top two are going to be continuous motions. We're going to go to our last point on the, on the part. Now we'll end our points on the part, and now we're going to return to a, a home setting away from the part. Okay, all right, now we're going to attempt to run our program. <laughs> all right, and away we go. There's the first point, the linear move to the arc, the arc itself, the linear move to the second arc, and I'm going to step the arc. Now we're going to do the continuous move through the top arc. Linear move to the third, fourth arc, and a continuous move, and the final to our starting point, and then away from lift off the part. <laughs>